Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Oh, yes. I'm hearing it. Silence. <laughs> the sounds of silence. It sounds wonderful. Uh, anyway, except for me talking, of course. Uh, we take a look outside right now. You can see the sunshine we've got beaming down downtown Owensboro. We're seeing less and less of that, though, to the west. And you're noticing that on our Deaconess Gateway Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there. As we look toward the east side of Evansville, kind of a milky sky there. Some high overcast starting to slide on in. A lot of traffic sliding up and down 66 and 69. Maybe not sliding so much, but they're moving anyway. That's a good thing. Got a bit of a breeze out there today. Uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour, mainly from the south. It's going to warm us up. It's going to make things a little more humid out there as well. Hey, the northbound and southbound bridges, things are flowing nicely. Had a backup on northbound 41 south of the twin bridges earlier because of an accident. Things look good now, though, so no problems, at least for yet. Uh, you can see on our northbound 41 view, uh, it's our Heads Construction Tower Cam in the backyard. The traffic is rolling along. Nicely, plenty of traffic out there though, and also the southbound traffic, which has been moving nicely all day long. 82 degrees. Check out the dew point though. We started the day with the dew point of 54. Now it's up to 61. And once you get above 60, that's when it starts to get a little humid. You start to feel it. You're certainly going to feel it when you got that temperature up around 90 degrees, like we are later on this afternoon. So, yes, nowhere close to as comfortable as what we had over the past couple of afternoons, but not as oppressive as we could see, certainly for late June, with the south wind really kicking it into gear now at 15 miles miles an hour. Temperature-wise, all of us in the 80s now, not a single 70 on the board. And we started the day in the upper 50s. We've started the past three days in the 50s, but we were 59 this morning in Evansville. Now we've seen it just race through the 60s, race through the 70s, and now we're into the 80s. Yesterday we topped out at 81. We're already above that mark by a degree and feeling a little less comfortable without having that low humidity either. 82 in Evansville right now, 82 in Owensboro. Low as I see is 80 in Lagodi, 81 in Jasper. It's 83 though in Princeton, and that's as warm as I see, along with Fordsville. So we're all pretty much bunched there at 80, 81, 82, and 83 degrees. Live first morning Doppler radar. Not showing anything. We could use some rain here in Evansville. In a lot of areas I know down to the south, you're thinking we've had enough rain. We got it all on Monday, right? Inches of rain along the Western Kentucky Parkway. But as you move to the north, we only had one one hundredth of an inch at the Evansville Airport on Monday. And really over the past week and a half, we've been dry. So Yes, yeah, so a rain could be had. That'd be kind of nice to have, too. Well, we're going to get some. Maybe not so much tonight, but we are going to be seeing that over the next few days. And you can see this cluster of showers and thunderstorms, which is barreling through Missouri, about to hit St. Louis. Well, this is going to continue to work its way in. This is an MCS, a mesoscale convective system. Basically, it's a cluster of thunderstorms that are all kind of working together and moving together as they continue to push down toward the tri-state. But you can see those high clouds already starting to spill in from the west, not so much to the east yet, but that'll be changing as we go through the afternoon. Here's future tracker timing it out, indicating maybe a stray shower or two or a thunder shower popping up uh, later on this afternoon, or at least in the early afternoon. But as we head into mid to late afternoon, now we're starting to see these showers and thunder showers from that complex moving in. Not too impressive, but it is more impressive than the last run. So looks like it will hold together, make its way into southeast Illinois, especially north of 64. But all across southeast Illinois, we could see that. And if this holds, uh, this latest run, if it verifies, it looks like we might see even a little bit of shower and thunder shower activity kind of crossing the Wabash into southwest Indiana. I'd really be surprised if you saw even more than a few drops or a stray shower or two down in western Kentucky because it looks like almost all of that's going to stay to the north and really start to fizzle out. However, you're going to get your chances too later on, but the best chance for rain really over the next couple of days is going to be up to the north. As we go to the overnight hours, maybe a few stray showers out there, not much shaking, but first thing in the morning, here we are at 430, the leading edge of some showers and a few thunder showers is kind of pushing in, uh, not amounting to much at 7 o'clock. Then we've got another wave that's going to be pushing in in the afternoon. Even that starts to weaken just a little bit by mid-afternoon. The latest run on our future tracker kind of pushes that up just a little bit. And then we've got another wave that'll be pushing in later on in the evening. Looks like that's going to break up a little bit too. So you might get lucky Friday after 5 down in Owensboro, but at the same time, I would go for plan B. The indoor, probably the better bet tomorrow because all these runs have been kind of a little hit and miss on when the timing is going to be, but it looks like we'll see about two to three waves of these showers and thunder showers moving in. It looks like one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. Or pretty much along those lines. Here's what looks like rainfall forecast wise, and looks like the heftiest totals will be up to the north over the next couple of days, and not a whole lot to be had down to the south. There is a severe risk tomorrow, an isolated uh, threat that we have out there for the northwestern half of the tri state, and that is for damaging winds and large hail. Tornado threat should stay to our west. Here's what it looks like today forecast calling for a high in the upper 80s, mix of sunshine and clouds out there. 
Breezy, I reckon, with that south wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And a few showers possible late in the day, especially to the west of the Wabash. Maybe even a few thunder showers. Nothing severe is expected, though. Now the heat and humidity start to kick it into gears. We get close to 90 today. I mean, it's going to be a little on the humid side, but it's not going to be oppressive. It'll be humid tomorrow, though. You'll feel it. A little cooler with the more cloud cover. And, of course, a better chance for rain tomorrow, too. And then we're going to be noticing Saturday and Sunday highs. Both days right around 90 degrees. Hey, the opening day of Ellis is going to be on Sunday. Hopefully, <laughs> these hit and miss showers miss a lot of the races, but it goes on during the afternoon and temperatures are going to be staying in the 80s for highs with good chances for rain into next week. Hey, you know what we have going on tonight though, Angie? Even though we're going to have a lot of clouds kind of spilling in, we had a better view of it last night, full strawberry moon. And oh, the strawberry yeah, moon. Yeah, last night, uh, the, full oh, moon, gorgeous. the full moon in June is called the strawberry moon and that really is gorgeous. There's the Fifth Third Bank building downtown. So Angie, you could have seen this. Did you see this rising last you night? You know, I should have seen it at Mobs. It's not too, out the country. Well, it's right I the country. Seen it. I oh. didn't even think to look. Yeah, we've got it. Of course, we had very little in the way of cloud cover last night, so that was just a great look at the oh, full moon gorgeous. disc. Will Reburn's one has got that shot, and hey, we've got a, got another chance tonight to catch that full moon, so it should be nice I'll to see. I'll try it tonight. I'll there try to see it tonight. We'll be back with more local lifestyles after this. Stick around.